other than girdle bridge, truss bridge is another common form of bridge structure. In previous video, we have looked into the development of influence line diagram for a simply supported beam, which is applicable to the analysis of girdle bridge. How would the diagrams look like if we are using truss bridge instead? Recalling that only axial force exists in truss members. Moreover, truss should be loaded at joint. With these concepts in mind, we know there will be only one influence line diagram for each member, indicating the effect of node loadings on the member axial force. Let's replace the beam with a 4 panel warrant truss. The base length is L and the spacing of adjacent bottom cord knots is 0.25L. The inclination angle of diagonal members is 45 degree, which means the height of truss equals to 0.25L. Bridge loading is transferred to bottom cord knots and therefore, we only need to analyze the truss in three cases excluding the cases where the unit load applied directly on the supports. In those cases, the force in members will be zero. For the first case, the unit load is located at knot B. The support reactions at point A and E are 0.75 and 0.25 respectively. With the support reactions, we are now good to proceed with method of joint to determine the internal forces. We start from joint A, the point that connects only two truss members. As we reveal more member forces, we may proceed with joint that connects more member. For the second case, the unit lot is located at knot C, which is the midpoint of truss. Given the symmetrical geometry of truss, the reaction forces are above 0.5. The method of joint is deployed again to determine the axial force in members. However, this time we do not have to go through all the joints. Since the structure is symmetrical and we can simply mirror the result we obtain for any half of the truss structure. Calculation for the third case can be skipped thanks to the symmetrical configuration of truss. After we obtain the member forces for all cases, influence line diagram can be produced by plotting the value of force for respective unit lot location. When the force is negative, the member is in compression, and when constructing the influence line diagram, we need to plot the point properly based on its sign. The application of influence line diagram is the same as that for beam. Given the location and value of applied load, XL force in members is calculated by multiplying the load value with the corresponding value on influence line diagram. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please share it with your friends. We'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.